Hey, what's going on, guys? Minikoo77B here. Welcome back to another episode of NASCAR Thunder 2000. This is episode number 10 today for the California Speedway at Napa Auto Parts 500. I call it Auto Club Speedway. I know it's called uh, California Speedway or whatnot. But right away, you can see we're back to the normal car or whatnot. We're going to be... It's... <laughs> well, let's go sign the sponsors, actually, because uh, they're pretty much going to be the same. Uh, finish the 35th place. Uh, that's not happening. Average finish in 40th place. We're gonna be. I'm trying trying to get more towards the guaranteed income side. Like, yeah, I I can see that the average finish is in 35th place. I did check. I am somehow like having an average 30th finish of 33rd, but that doesn't mean that's gonna last for long because it's not like Thunder 04 where. You know, this would be considered, this income here would be considered a bonus income. No, because in Thunder 04, you have like a guaranteed income, like income per race, plus whatever you get for this when it comes to like the bonus income. So, in order for, only for you to get paid in Thunder 03, you actually need to actually do this expectation, which, yeah, it's going to be fine for like the first race or maybe the second race, but races 3 through 9, maybe not so much. So we're going to take more of the guaranteed income because our average finish is about 33rd. It'll take a while for it to get back to the 40th. So we're going to have the passive income. Make sure we have a way of getting money. Speaking of a way to get money, um, well, this would be more because we've had killing it in qualifying this season. So we're going to keep we're going to keep Craftsman, but this time on the back. So, hey, these two swapped. Um, also, as well, finish ahead of Mike Skinner. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Remember, this was from... Uh, like, some of this don't, like, really match in version 1.20 of the of the uh, mod, but at 1.25, it kind of fixes that. He said, he said we're going to fix, uh, we're going to get Delphi on, on board, on the associate. I believe for this one, when I paid in my, or I remodeled the sponsorships around, I had Craftsman here for the driver's side. I believe I have Delphi here. I believe so. If I, if I, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm going to have to take a look, another look or whatnot. But uh, you'll see that you'll see. Basically, it's going to be the same paint scheme nonetheless. But this time, I had a little few tweaks, few tweaks with the uh, paint scheme. So, so we're going to go show you that real quick as well. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So, of course, with the new sponsorship placements, I decided to make it closer to more like with the logos and whatnot with Jerry Nadu's car. Anyway, I thought it would make it a nice little touch. Uh, what we see now, of course, we have UAW also on the car, just like Jerry Nadu had in 2002. The UAW Delphi on the car, also on the side. Of course, we got Craftsman in the back now as well, because that kind of... Basically, <laughs> the sponsors kind of like uh, swap places, actually, believe it or not. So we got Sears on the trunk now as well, because it's Craftsman was owned by Sears at the time. Uh, we got Oakwood Homes on, on the C pillar, and of course on the B pillar. I decided to put the Square D on there as like the other Andy Petrie sponsor, of course. Updated the uh, signature font a little bit to make it a little bit uh, more signature-like esque, I would say. My channel logo is still kind of like bleh, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, this is the brand new Sears, well, UAW Delphi uh, Sears Craftsman car. That's probably going to be for the next nine races. Now that I think about it, I, I mean, I, I, I'm glad I have UAW Delphi on the hood rather than the, the, the Craftsman. I mean, the, the Craftsman was actually pretty co cool on the hood. I like the little wrench and the Sears, little Sears icon that's on there, but having to put UAW Delphi, just like the actual Jerry Nadu, Nadu car looks also really sick as well, I'm not going to lie. So we got business to take care of, and I thought about it long and hard what I wanted to do. First, first things first, obviously building an engine. We're going to take six races to build. We need a straight line speed, and we need it now. Well, not now, but six races from now anyway. We have an en we have an engine guy that can repair engines within one race. So we're going to be repairing... Uh, we're going to be re re repairing engine two for one race. But we're also going to be selling chat uh, engine number three as well. We won't need this engine anymore. Um, we're also going to, we're actually going to overhaul a chassis. I decided to do, to do chassis number, I think it was, um, uh, I think it was this one. Yeah, 52 across the board with durability of 54. This was able to somewhat have some durability. I mean, 52 to 54, I should say, or, well, whatnot. Um, this was able to actually be able to somewhat, you know, be good, except for the drafting step, but that's okay. We can actually uh, overhaul this for two races as well. 
But we're also going to sell this other chassis because I don't think we're going to need it any longer. Sell that for thirty-seven thousand. So we have we have only have about forty-two thousand in the, in the in, sorry forty-three thousand in the bank. I mean, not great, but that's just how it is. Um, we're going to be down to two units. We're actually going to be using the same things as we had for our race at Dal Talladega. So we're going to be going to California with this setup, and let's just see what we can do at California. Yeah, honestly, my setup isn't very good. <laughs> I know I keep complaining about the setup, but the driver isn't very good at this track either. Auto Club, for some reason, in both the NASCAR Thunder games, I'm just not very, uh, not very fast, especially in the, uh, early portions of the career mode anyway. I put the front downforce all the way at the very bottom, it's probably gonna bite me in the ass. Uh, I, I try to make the rear downforce pretty low as well, like 46, 45 to get some more top end speed. Oh, oh, that time it handles like a dream through three and four. Previous time it wouldn't. Like all my other times I'm currently driving this track, three and four was usually my, my problem spot. Let's see, what does this help? Uh, all right, 35th on the first qualifying lap, so we need a better second one for sure. Yeah, one and two is our main issue. I think three and four will be okay, as long as I try to do exactly as I did before. That's the first time I ever done something like that, where it just stuck at 164, 165. Uh, I put a little too much throttle. Yeah, I did. One little too much throttle. Okay, so what is this lap going to be? We're actually going to go towards the apron here and see if that gives us any, anything else. 39.8, not very good. 31st. We're probably gonna finish 43rd. Ooh, our best lap yet. Uh, yeah, this was the downforce. Look, I don't like any of it either way. But, hmm, I don't, I don't like any of this. But I've been practicing for like 25, 30 minutes trying to come up with something. I, it, like, if I even turn the joystick a little bit, it just snaps loose. So that's my main issue. No, 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 no. Uh, Alright, let's just get qualified. Let's just get the uh, California race over with. MRN is in Fontana, California, home of the California Speedway for today's Napa Auto Parts 500. It's another great day for racing. Barney, this track is known for its long green flag runs. Well, you're right. Fuel mileage is a big concern for a lot of teams. All the green flag racing means they'll have to be very careful when they decide to pit for fuel. The Conseco Pontiac looks to turn his luck around in this race. He definitely needs a good finish, not just for himself, but for the team, his sponsors, and everyone else involved with that team. Kyle Petty has really shown some muscle in his qualifying this year. Yeah, that team has made great strides in improving their qualifying setups, and it shows with all the top ten starts they've made. The Delphi car has had some bad luck the last two races. And trust me, it hasn't been for the lack of effort. Those guys have been working hard all season. Maybe they can right the ship with a good finish here. Well, yeah, it's going to be, I think, about 50 laps of pain here today, I will say that. I'm looking forward to Richmond and Charlotte in this game, because they're actually, they're actually not as bad as you think in terms of, like, difficulty compared to, like, some other tracks. We have an interesting row, too. Brett Bodine and Wally Dallenbach. For sure, they're probably going to be falling back. We see Joe Niemicek up there. We see Ted Musgrave and Dave Marcus in the field. That's really rather interesting choices to have, I would say. As for us, though, 30s rolling off P32. The person we're racing against in points is right in front of us, our good old friend Bobby Hamilton. My man, the person who I keep complaining about being buffed up every week. We have Kenny Walls that's afraid to pass us on the outside, or our other teammate here. I mean, we were the best Andy Petrie racing car of, of, the, of the day of uh, Talladega. We're hoping to make Daytona a little bit better, because it seems to be that we're going to be a super speedway car for, like, probably the first season. 
hopefully when we get like the tire wear and tire grip upgrades like as the season progresses we'll be okay that's the main thing i'm kind of like like worried about is to make sure oh my gosh like we're sliding the track and we're losing, we lose all four because i turned the joystick in a very weird way hopefully um as season as the season progresses we'll do fine like on like other tracks that are not like super speed ones. I think we can get there as long as we, as long as we can get ourselves tire upgrades. Like right now, we're keeping up with someone in someone in the pack because, but of course, it's, I would say it's because of our low downforce on the uh, straights help us keep up towards the very end. So we actually have some straight line speed for this race. That's the good news. In terms of long run pace, though, I I can't answer that question yet. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I cannot answer that question as of yet because it, I get to do any further run more than four laps per setup. <laughs> And I tried about maybe seven of them. So I do have some I do have some laps. But hey, we're still keeping up with this little cluster of pack though right here. That's the good news. But we went wide a little bit, tried to go in there, and we lost two spots. Uh, maybe even three because the back end just wanted to kick out right here. Maybe four. No, we're not gonna let Mike skip it by this time. Uh, Kenny Wallace though is, is is ready to make some move things because we might have to let him in at some point. Only him. Oh, he wants to go now. I don't blame you. Oh, Kenny, I saw you get loose right there. That was not. That was not exactly what the gray sight to behold. As we're still now in 36th place. Thankfully, we did not take the 35th place uh, sponsorship goal there. But we kind of pulled. We kind of pulled away a little bit. I'm trying to get back in this draft here with Jimmy Spencer. It's right in front of us. We can do fine in corner entry, but corner exit is just not there for us. I'm just trying to hold off my man Bobby Hamilton down down below, but it just ain't helping right now so far. There we go. We, we actually we're actually even like, on pace between our competition, who is only one spot ahead of the full time walk of the full time uh, point series st stuff. Though it's not great. Like I said, this this is going to take a while before we get before we figure out like what to do here. Well, that was a decent corner, but Bobby Hamilton's going to have a good run through there. Uh, tires seem fine. Oh, it's actually not. Oh, it's not 50 laps. Okay, I am completely wrong then. So 62 divided by half should be 31. So I need to survive 31 laps of fuel. Kenny's not really getting up there really well. I mean, like, it seems like we're kind of even on pace with those cars in front. As long as I don't slide the tires, which I'm trying not to, really. I promise I'm not. It's just when you, when you slightly turn the joystick, you'll see this, the back end just kicks out on you when you have no assists. So instead of just trying to let the car roll, try not to get on the gas so, so early. Maybe that's what my problem was. And then try, try to get ourselves a good move at the, the exit of the corner. Seems to be working so far. You know what? For for this race standards, you know, and all that, all that jazz, like the car is, you know, slow, but that's just, that's just how it's going to be. What is Dale Jr. doing back here? <laughs> I just happened to notice. Like, we're actually not losing those guys, but we're also not gaining on them either. But I think I know the reason why everyone's being held up there. I think I see old Wally Dahlen back there. We started in fourth in this uh, in this race. Um, yeah. <laughs> how does it feel to have a not-so-good setup there, Wally? I mean, I know I know the feeling all too well about having starting up somewhat, somewhat good and just falling off the face of the earth after, like, two or three laps. At least I'm not the guy that's all the way just coming off a of turn four now. So at least I'm not that. <laughs> at least we're not that this time. I don't even know why Dale Jr. was back there the entirety of the time. There's no way we're gonna hold him up. We're gonna be able to hold him up. We're just been holding. We're just been fighting with my man Bobby Hamilton. I'm on this little battle that we have here between me and the four car. Um, hopefully we can get around the 75 Wally and uh, the others that are up there as well. I think what is that? Mike Skinner up there. I see LePage. I see Dave Blaney. Um, is it? Is it? Is it uh, correct for me to say young Dave Blaney rather than young Ryan Blaney? Uh, yeah, it would have to be somewhat, right? Anyway, we got Wally Dahl back in front of us. We're gonna try to make, make an easy pass on him. I mean, he's he's kind of falling off the face of the earth as well as LePage. LePage starting up pretty pretty far up as well. We have a little bit of contact as well, and a bit a bit of a rough corner for us off the exit because of a little contact there. No damage, we're all good to go. And uh, we're just still side by side with him. 
I messed my entry up to three. We're gonna lose both those spots. I messed up my entry as we uh, drift. So we did, that was not a good series of corners. We're gonna have to try to get our best to get those spots back. All right, we caught him up with a three wide maneuver here. It took us a couple laps to get there, but we're gonna be able to go three wide here to zing right by these these two cars. And we back up to 36. Hopefully we can keep it off of, off of turn one, turn two this time around. So about 14 laps before our tires get worn. That's actually not bad. In fact, we're going to probably lose the spot here at 95. It's kind of like 95, 75. We're going to get a little, little bit of a nudge there. Honestly, I've had, it, I've had enough. I mean, probably in hindsight, I should have just, I should have just raced them a little bit cleaner. They're going to get back right up, up, up with this anyway. Um, our goal, of course, is to finish that's not basically blast. <laughs> we're doing a good job so far. Just hopefully the pit crew doesn't fuck this one up again, like they did in Talladega. So, some good news to report about the car. Um, it no longer wants to snap loose on me, no matter how bad I want to put on the joystick. The bad news is, it's tight. It's, just, it's getting tight now. I think, of course, it's doing, it's, honestly, it's a good type of tight. It, feel, it is slow. I mean, that's what I'm saying about the entirety of the time, but it no longer wants to snap loose on me. I kind of like this tight, to be honest. But, um, that way I feel more comfortable in driving it. But, yeah, we're... Literally a second off the pace each lap, but compared to our lap times anyway, but as we expected when you're uh, your first season career mode car anyway. Like that, uh, that I kind of just overdrove the corner a little bit there, so that kind of counts, but doesn't count. We have someone that blew up right in front of us. I got up there. Let's see who that is. We have a lot of engine failures, but not a whole lot of cautions to backing up for it. That is, oh, really? Johnny Benson has to blow up? Are you sure? Why? Why does, why, does, why does all the good guys have to have horrible days? It's like, it's, I'm always like rooting for somebody and they just blow up. Come on now. Who's leading this race, man? I wonder. Jeff Burton, he came out of nowhere, didn't he? <laughs> Je Jeff Burton's now leading this race. Uh, pit stop should occur in about another 11 laps or so. We're probably going to pit halfway like we normally do. And that's all, that's all pretty much going to be all she wrote there. We're kind of just chilling. Like, we're not, like, dead last, but we're not, like, anywhere near anybody either in front either. We're just kind of chilling. That's okay by me. We bring the car home in one piece for the most part. Oh, my gosh. I was about to say, my car's handling's about to come up to, to, come up to us, but, man, Bobby Hamilton just nearly lost it underneath me. <laughs> He's slowing those guys down. Daryl Walton's starting to come into in the mix. Um, in terms of, like... Yeah, this car is very tight now. <laughs> like, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it to the uh, end or not without like, getting past for like five different cars. It's not the leaders, but I know they're coming up pretty soon. So, we're probably going to race till lap uh, 61, I want to say. Because we're probably going to get lap once, maybe twice. We might be only racing until lap 60. So if anything, on lap 30, because here comes Rusty Walls, he took the lead back away from uh, Jeff Burton. We're going to be so showing the blue flag with the uh, cross, the yellow cross. So he's going to lap, put us a lap down. So if a caution were to come out now, we would be kind of screwed, actually, to be honest. Because he's not going to be able to lap another guy until, like, whoever that is up there. I think that's still Kevin LePage. Yeah, this car's handling has gone away gone away as a new bird here to stay is my tire wear I know it's not Christmas not even July man I really wish I had some tire wear oh my gosh we're three wide now too oh the left why is the left tires wear out sooner than the right rear that doesn't make sense in this game yeah no, those front tires are red <sighs> they're not good. They are not good. If I were to pit now, like we'd be struggling again on like lap 54. So, we, so unfortunately, we have to wait a little while longer until we get back on in pit, pit road. So, the good news is we're not dead last, but the bad news is we're probably going to be slow for like the next uh, stint. Like we're probably going to pit on lap 30 because we're probably going to race till lap 60, and that's okay if we finish two laps down. I I'm okay with that. Uh, as long as we don't finish, like, completely dead last, we should be okay. Which I think only one car is out of the race. And, uh, who's in, who, who am I racing against, like, that's behind me right now? 
So Waltrip just pitted. That's fine. Stacey Compton pitted. So it's just these the usual suspects. Chad Little and Scott Pruitt. So I think right now I'm like theoretically like P39, maybe 40. Fine by me. We meet our uh, our lap bar expectation. We make meet our expectation when it comes to average finish anyway. See, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I don't want to make it looser, but at the same time, I feel like I should because of the run. And increase the tire tire pressure as well. My, I don't even think we're going to be able to make it to, like, that 30 because of how poorly these are managed. I say next lap, I guess we'll do it. Yeah, I have to go on in. This is, this is not good at all. We're going to have to come on in. I don't want to do it this early, but... Don't worry about it. Do not worry about the entry. So I might have to increase the tire pressures by two by two rounds and lower the wedge You're the boss. to cut try to compensate for that. All right, there's poor Johnny Benson in the pits. As for us, though, we can only hope they don't mess up the pit stop again. Guys, where the fuck were you at Talladega? That was a good stop. That was like probably the best pit stop of the year. Unfortunately for us, we're now down in P, well, last. But that's okay, the whole field needs to come back down pit road at some point. So we're gonna be gaining a lot of time on them each lap. We're only racing until lap 60, or maybe even 59, depending on how it goes. Oh, look at that, John Andretti's running an actual like Richard Petty uh, STP car this time around, I like that. I think this might be the end of the pit cycle. We are 38th. That's uh, that's not great, but not terrible either, as we're trying to get ourselves to just get back in line underneath uh, Bill Elliott to try to help us get pulled in the straights. What little straightaways that we have. In fact, maybe. Maybe this might be the end. I don't know. Can we pick up one or two more spots? To the 7, to 75. Uh, Kenseth is a lap ahead of us. So 37th, 37th as of now, we have 25 laps, I would say, to do it. I think we're two laps down now, so like maybe lap 59 is probably what, what the uh, uh, race into either lap 60 or lap 59, I think at this point. We're probably gonna get lapped like maybe one or two more times this race. But my, my hopeful is two, but most likely it's gonna be one. All right, let's see how many laps down am I again? I think I saw two. I might be. An, I'm an idiot. So let's see. No, one. Well, that's not great. So we'll, we'll be. Uh, we'll probably get lapped again, and then maybe one more time afterwards. Uh, not what I want to see when they're right behind me with 20 laps to go. We got got Daryl Waltrip and Bobby Hamilton. Give uh, the old timers some love, some brotherly love there. Get, 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 get back right behind us. I don't know if we're gonna be able to hold them off for like these amount of laps, especially. Especially since our quartering speeds are not great with the looses like that. But yeah, we made we made it looser, of course. Uh, I tried I tried to get a little side draft again, but we might be able to pass him in the inside of the here. Like we're only good on the straights, but DW just seems to know how to pull away from us really well. Yeah, holding off these guys is probably not gonna happen. Once again, it's our own tire wear that just be our own downfall, especially since the grip is not so good either. I don't even know where um 40th place is. Um, I think it might be Chad. It might be Scott. I don't even know. At, th at this point, what's the what's the use? If they caught up to you so fast like that, what's the point of holding the ball up? Besides, I'm hoping to get lapped once or maybe two more times. We're probably gonna get lapped in about two laps because I think Rusty's like right there. I don't know where uh, 40th place is though. If I don't see it, that's okay. That means we're okay. Let's see if we can try to make a pass on Bobby again. Oh my gosh, it's been like me and Bobby Hamilton all race long. Oh boy. Oh boy, there we go. I and did what I could. Hey teammate, how you doing? You ready to pass me on the inside? No? Okay, looks like we'll hold up Dale Jr. instead. But you're holding up your brother though. <laughs> you're holding up your brother. Because here comes Jeff Burton. You know, believe it or not, Rusty Wallace is the point leader right now, but he has no wins this season, I don't think. 
So realistically, we have about 10 laps to go. We're in 39th place. We're probably going to lose that because I see Wally behind us. But we're probably not going to give that out without a fight, though. I want to finish, that's, you know, top 40, yes, but I want to finish 39th. I don't care if I have to rough him up a little bit this time. There was, there was no way we were going to hold off Bobby and Daryl for that, that long time. They're long gone now. Um, in terms of us finishing where we're going to be finishing at, I guess this is a good day, but, you know, other YouTubers at this point are doing better than I am because I think, well, my strategy is a little more towards, like, the long run side anyway. Like, as soon as we get the uh, engine upgrade, like, the engine being built, we'll start doing great in terms of straight line speed. But in terms of, uh, like, tire wear, that is literally the next thing, and that is when I'll actually start buying, in, investing in a new, um, chassis builder and maybe fabricator along with it. I don't even know what the next upgrade's gonna be after that. I kind of want to make it the, uh, the tire grip rather than, than downforce. Like, it's, it's, I'm debating whether or not I should do the tire grip next or the uh, tire wear, because I know I keep sliding all over the place. I mean, that could either be one or the other. I personally think it's tire grip that we should invest in next, but uh, draft, like drafting and fuel economy are literally no issue. But what is an issue is the 75 car that just happened to appear right in full of it, right in my mirror. And his tires are better than mine. So we're going to have to hold him off for literally about uh, seven more, eight, seven more laps, I would say. If I have to, we're going to have to mess him up a little bit. Oh, wow. He has so much more pace. On, oh, like, if, he has, if, if he's going to make a pet move like that on the outside to me, you know for a fact he has a much better car than we do. Oh, boy. He just lost himself a little bit of time there. You kind of hold up Dale Senior there a little bit, too. So that'll slow him down for, like, maybe a few laps. Starting now, I'm beginning to think that no matter what you set the, the uh, mistakes or the uh, uh, wreck frequency of the AI to be at, they will always, like, if you put if you set, like, the speed to, or aggressiveness, I guess, to high, uh, we're not going to get that spot back. Yes, yeah, that's, that's pretty much Joker at that point, unless I can just bump rush him there and then going into one. As I was saying before, I would think at this point, at this point, I would say the the, the speed of the AI is what's determining the uh, mistakes of the AI. Like, we put the max correct frequency at the highest, and we've only had one caution due to the AI's mistakes. Like, that wreck at Texas was caused by me. It was only because of Jimmy Spencer losing it on lap four in Rockingham. That's the only caution, like from the AI. Like I, like you, I'll show you the diff I'll show you the settings. Like the wreck frequency, it's at the highest. I mean, Sledge also made sure about it as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it has something to do with the uh, the games, which we're called. In fact, since we're already down in 40th. We're not even we're not even gonna hope well we won't be even able to hold him off even if we wanted to, because here comes Rusty Wallace on the last lap of the race. We're gonna try to get out of the way. Get out of the way of the leaders as best we can. Because we're slow as molasses. Yeah, there's nobody nearby him. It's gonna be all Rusty Wallace, it looks like here, for for, uh, for ra run <laughs> running a really stellar race. The point leader himself, he's at the winner race this season. So it looks like Rusty Wallace is going to win this race today. We're going to come home with P40. Uh, not great not great of a day for us. I still think that there's something up with the uh, wreck frequency. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time, yeah, but at least we're not completely stone dead last as we finish three laps down today with Rusty Wallace being your winner. A rare caution-free race. You know, that's pretty amazing. It says a lot about the quality and true talent of these NASCAR Winston Cup drivers. The 56 car would like to have finished a lot better, I'm sure. He stayed in the fight all race long. Things just never quite went his way. This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing, brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. We'll see you next week in Richmond. So it is Rusty Walls here today who's got himself the victory number one of the season, being the point leader. He's already going to extend that point lead with the Miller Lite Ford. Well, for us, that was not exactly the greatest race in the world, but it's not the worst one either. We actually managed to lap Scott Pruitt and laugh at his face again. <laughs> so there's some positivity there. Richmond's coming up next, but of course we have no chassis, tire grip, or wear to help us out there. 
We do have an, a new engine, well, repaired engine anyway, because we can actually repair an engine each race. We don't have to worry too much on straight line speed, so that's, that's good news there. Um... Yeah, uh, we're, we're gonna have to show you, like, what is going on with, like, the the AI difficulty. Of course, I, I'm not sure what to say about that, but Rus Rusty Wallace, though, he could clearly celebrate. Well, we got some sponsorship income. That's, oh, that's honestly what it really matters to, is to make sure that we get the sponsorship income. As we as we saw, we have Rusty Wallace and Jeff Vernon finishes one and two. Tony Sword finishes in third. R Ricky Rudd fourth. Dale Jarrett fifth. Labani in 6th, Jeff Gordon 7th, Mark Martin 8th, Dale Sr. ninth, and Sterling Marlin rounds out the top 10. Our teammate just finishes outside the top 10. And Kenny Wallace, who who started really far in the back, back of the pack, he finishes up in 19th. As for us, though, we are not we did not do very well. I was really hoping for more cautions to be caused by the AI at this point, but it just it doesn't seem to happen. Like, it's kind of disappointing. More on me didn't get a chance to really show you this because, well... I hit the stop the recording button, so this is literally the third video clip I had to use just for this video, just to show you that, yeah, the speed is at the max, the rec frequency is at the max, the resonance is at the max, defense is at the max, pit strategy is at the max, and mistakes are at the max, so, I don't know, I mean, like, when I play, when I set it down to rookie difficulty, um, they, they appeared, like, when I do, like, my little, like, you know, like, the little races I do for, where I just take a driver, go to the victory lane, like you saw there, just right there in there, um, yeah, they said they tend to make more mistakes, so I'm not sure. Like, like even the like the speed would be would be off, aggressiveness would be off, defensiveness would be off, and pit strategy would be, also be off. But the mistakes and wreck frequency would be the same. So that's just something interesting, I guess. I just haven't noticed. It. Does it suck trying to rely on the AI to actually have some uh some wrecks? Uh, kinda. But I'd rather not be the one that actually causes it themselves, or at least I'll try not to. I mean, I'm not gonna go just. You know, unless they really piss me off on the track, that like then I'll start, I'll do something. But that's like kind of like a, you know, like a realistic behavior or whatnot. If someone messes you up a little bit, you kind of want to retaliate a little bit. That's fine. But like just like full on doing it for no reason, that just doesn't fly by me. You know. Um, let's see. Where like how many points did we lose to Bobby? Eh, quite a bit. A little bit. We gained a little bit on Chad Little. <laughs> we're still 70 points behind fucking Chad Little. This is kind of sad. But that's just where we're at though. I do believe that the second half of the season will be much better because of the uh, straight line speed alone. But once we get that, that that tire wear upgrade, oh boy, it's game on. We have three races left to go for that, though. So that's when we'll probably do something. But anyways, if you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel quite a bit. And as always, we'll see you in the next race at Richmond.